I need to measure a bit so I can uh, find out which way to rotate it for getting the most out of it. This is giving me a lot of problems. It's actually too big for the mill. Uh, it's 60, a little bit more than 60 in that direction here. Uh, but it's got a few a few lumps here and there and I would really like to cut this side flat and spin it I'll think I'll do that If I can, I'm not sure. Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, finally success. I spent I don't know, half an hour, three quarters of an hour trying to get this in the right position with this end up or this side up so I can cut this away that's a curve out here yeah. and always check your sawmill if everything is alright before you start yeah tighten up the blade see if the tracking's all right yeah and of course check if the oil's all right it is and mine is all clean because it's not long ago since i changed it perfect yeah just checking uh this is as uh, high as my mill goes, the saw head goes up and shouldn't be, yeah, I can see my uh, securities most that secures the lock they are so far out so I can't pass with the mill well, ready to start up the uh, green dream machine yeah I can see this one's not so it's not going to pass that one either but uh, I'll lose it when I get there I'll just leave the uh, the saw to warm up for a couple of minutes I haven't been uh, using it for I don't know five six weeks at least and uh, just let it run for a couple of minutes and let the saw blade run a bit of pulse out so hi hi
it's too high to go to this part here to pass it'll touch here somewhere so I need to cut a bit off This is, I think, the shortest and heaviest lock I've had on the mill. I can't guess the weight, but it's extremely heavy. <laughs> As you can see, my mill won't pass that bit there. But I really like this part of the log. And uh, I think I have to remove the log stops and see if uh, I can get it, the mill past that big lump there. I think that did the trick. Yeah. And I can even move it a bit more. Like that. Yeah. I think it will just pass and also down there has a slight curve out and it will yeah a quarter of an inch I think I got space uh, I got a space down there yeah take the spot and remove some of this
Now it starts raining. Ah. I'm going just half an inch, inch at the time here at the top because I had a damage here. But uh, this piece is okay and you can cut that into skinny bits to use. Yeah. But it is beautiful. Just look at this beautiful piece of oak. I got a quite a problem with this it's too wide or too lumpy down here so when I cut I uh, I need to move it yeah depending on how long the blade are going down here I have to move it yeah shift it from side to side to pass some uh, bumps and uh, yeah I hope it works but this is so beautiful That is cutting it close. But look at this beauty. This is even more beautiful. There are small branches from uh, a young age. Yeah, I can barely lift these.
Yeah, that was the last of the two inch slabs. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, ah, this one is, uh, yeah, you can make it into something else. But uh, seven two inch slabs in this size, that's quite good. <laughs> I've got loads of carrots, so uh, I'm thinning and uh, just getting a load of small good ones, really sweet, very tasty for my salad, these four will do. Yeah, and then it's just to pick rocola and because it's standing here in the sun outside it's really peppery so it's very delicious <laughs> <laughs> 